So hey everybody, I'm George. I'm Nat. We're with the Keeper's Hive. We're out here at the Winterthur Apiary in Northern Delaware. It is the second week of April. The weather's beautiful today. Gorgeous day, you couldn't ask for any better. 70 degrees, sunny. And uh, so we're here. We're here because we're gonna show you how to demarie the Keeper's Hive today. Let's go do it. We got five minutes, that's all it's gonna take. Let's hope so. So what we've seen this spring is the spring has been very sort of wet and cold. So the spring buildup has been sort of slow. Uh, some of the hives uh, built up quicker than others. So we did do some brood sharing about two weeks ago. So the strong hives, we set back a little bit. The weak hives, we boosted with some brood. So everything's pretty much equal right now as far as strength and swarm season is coming upon us. Some of you probably have lost some bees to swarms already. And that said in five minutes, right? That's all it's going to take. We're going to show you how to demarie the keeper's hive. So come along. Hey, welcome back. We're back at the hive. We have a one queen keeper hive here. Just to review really quickly, we have the brood chamber. We have a spacer box and we have the exchange box on the hive today. So how do you know when your hive's ready to demarie? Well, it's really simple, right? The first thing you do is come to your keeper's hive, open the roof and take a look inside underneath the roof. The first thing you want to see is you want to see bees covering all the frames inside the brood chamber. That means that the hive is relatively well populated. So you can see right here, lots of bees in the box. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna go through all eight of the frames in the brood chamber. And what you wanna see is you wanna have six frames of brood um, in, in the chamber. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave two frames of brood down in the center of this box, and you're gonna take four frames of cat brood up into the exchange box leaving the queen down here. Let's get started. We're gonna, we're gonna remove our, our observation window. Simple like this. We're gonna remove our frame protectors. Simple as that. And without lifting a single box, while sitting on a chair, we're right into the brood chamber. So let's run the frames in the brood chamber. A little bit of smoke, Matt. Can you help me with the smoke today? I think I can probably handle it. <laughs> we're, just, we're just gonna puff them just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to run the frames and we're going to pull the cap brood frames. So this is a nice cap brood frame. Most of the brood on here is capped. Every frame we're going to look for swarm cells because if we see swarm cells, we got to cut them out. Swarm cells are usually at the bottom of the frame. The idea is to do the first demerie before they start getting a swarm impulse. So hopefully we won't see a lot of swarm cells today. So that's one cap root. So that frame of cap root is going to be demoried up. And again, the idea of the demerie is we're trying to decongest the brood chamber. So we're trying to take a lot of the bees that are down in the brood chamber along with their brood and move them up into the exchange box. This has open larvae on it. So this is not cap. So this is open. So leave that there. The other thing we're trying to find as we go today, Nat, is the queen. We don't want to move the queen up into the exchange box. So we want to leave the queen down below. So this is another frame of, of uncapped brood, eggs, and larvae. So, so far we have three frames of brood. This is another frame of mixed. It's got some cap brood on it. And it's also got some uh, uh, open larvae on it. On the bottom here, see sometimes on these wooden frames with the wax foundation, they make queen cells right at the bottom of the frame or queen cups. So sometimes all you need to do is take your hive tool and just sort of run along the base just to, just to eliminate any cups or cells that they have started. So again, we're gonna get to all eight of the frames in here. We're gonna pull this frame. This is also a nice cap root frame. Again, we're looking, we're looking for the queen as we go. Um, I don't see the queen yet, but this is another, another nice frame of cap root. So 
another frame of cap root. Got some drone cells. There's the queen, Nat. So there's the queen right there, right there walking around. So I'm actually gonna. You mean hold that? I'm one gonna. For you, I'm gonna ask you to hold that one, Nat. Yep. And this is our last frame in the brood chamber, which is usually a store frame. So it's usually a, a pollen and nectar frame, which it is. So that has all kinds of food on it. So we're gonna put that in back in. So remember, we're gonna leave two frames of brood down in the brood chamber. And we're gonna move four frames of brood up to here. So, so we have one food frame. So we're gonna to have to find more frames to put into the brood chamber, blank frames. So you could use drawn comb or you can use um, foundation and they'll draw it out. But luckily up here in the exchange box, we have some nice deep frames of just drawn comb. So again, the eighth, the eighth frame right here is a food frame. Frame seven is a blank frame. Frame six is a blank frame. Here's mama. Mama on this frame. Five. We're gonna get one more frame. Ideally of some open brood. That's cap, that's cap. Let me take a look here. I think this is open. Is this open? Yeah. Yes, that's open. That's open. So that's gonna be an open. I keep forgetting what I got wearing that. This is a this is a food frame. So the food frame's gonna go one. And then two is going to be a, a open frame. Three is going to be an open frame. I got to be in my veil. Give me a second, guys. You can cut this out. Okay. Uh, so I'm full now, right? So I left two frames of brood in positions four and five. So right, eight is a food frame. Seven is empty. Six is empty. Five is the queen with brood. Four is brood. Three is empty, two is empty, one is food. I have four frames of brood. Four frames of brood are going to go up into the exchange box. So I've taken four frames of cap brood and some open brood and moved it up into the exchange box, as you can see here. The other thing we have to do is we have to provide these bees as a, for a top entrance. So there's two ways you can do that. You can basically take your inner cover and just turn the notch down, really simple, and that gives the bees an entrance that way. Or you could basically, you could set, you could just set that box back a little bit and that gives the bees an entrance up there. So either way is acceptable. So that's the Demery. I don't know how it took us longer than five minutes, that, but one thing I, I want to point out guys is when we Demery this, you'll notice that George was concentrating on capped brood. It's because this is still early in the season, even though we get nice warm days, um, the nights are, are still a little bit cool. And we find that it's a little more successful if you move cap brood because you don't want the brood to get chilled at night. Now later on in the season when it gets warm and your, your, your nights are nice and warm uh, and you're still um, kind of in the, the swarm season, at the end of swarm season, yeah, you can move the open brood at that time, but for right now, it's a little bit early. We just like to try to move nothing but cap brood. And then next week, Matt, we're going to come back a week from doing the Demery. We're going to look up, look at the frames that we moved up top here to make sure they, did, they didn't make any emergency queen cells on the open brood. Because yes, this brood is now away from the queen pheromone that's down here. And the one queen keeper, we find that that doesn't happen very often, but it's worth worth checking. And then in about two or three weeks, we'll come back in and see whether or not we need to do another Demery. 
Um, these frames up here would have been hatched out and the brood chamber may be congested at that point again, and then we'll demery again. The last thing we need to do actually before we finish today is put our first super on. It's still a little bit early for the nectar flow around here, but whenever you do your first demery, you want to put your first super on because what you don't want the bees to do is bees tend to store honey at the top of the hive and you don't want them to be uh, bringing back in nectar and putting it into the into the uh, exchange box. So put a honey super on top. Uh, probably in about two or three weeks, we'll add two more honey supers to this when the primary nectar flow is, 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 is getting ready to start. So for everybody whose hives have swarmed already this year, I feel for you. Uh, think about the Demery, think about the Keeper's Hive. We're set up for a great season now. Uh, we we're queen, right? The queen is not gonna swarm. We're gonna have a nice big colony and easily collect honey. What do you think, Matt? I think we're in good shape. And that's all there is to it, guys. It's as simple as that. Just remember, there's nothing wrong with a seated hive inspection. <laughs> <laughs>